Good morning. This is Dr. Kular from Kular Bariatrics and Metabolics, National Highway 1, Bija, Ludhiana, Punjab, India. Today we will discuss about uh, the mini gastric bypass control on type 2 diabetes. You must have heard about this new technique which controls the type 2 diabetes. And let's see how the surgery controls the type 2 diabetes. As you can see in this picture, we have decreased the size of the stomach and converted it into a tube so you will be eating less and whatever you are eating is going down and touching a new point on the intestine which is about five to six feet away from the original point so that is the bypass so in a way it is touching the new point which is acting as a new sensor and is producing more hormones and chemicals in cretins we call them in cretins which will send some good signals to your pancreas which had gone in a kind of sleeping mode earlier because it was not getting good signals from your old stomach and the first part of the intestine that had kind of uh, got used to it whatever you are eating carbs and sugars every day from last 30 years 40 years your intestine gets used to it and doesn't send good signals to the pancreas and now because your food is touching a new point it is sending better signals better chemicals are produced uh, in higher concentration right away when your food touches this point and in return the pancreas will produce more insulin in the first one or two hours which gives you a better control on the diabetes but this surgery works well on type 2 diabetes uh, it has got no connection to the type 1 diabetes so we have to make sure before doing the surgery what kind of diabetes you are carrying. Majority of the patients we know are type 2 diabetic and we have to do C-peptide levels of your blood to see uh, whether you got type 2 or type 1. In type 2 diabetes your pancreas is okay, your beta cells are okay but because of some other factors pancreas is not getting good signals or there is some insulin resistance in the body because of the fat and because of those reasons your sugar is not under control and maybe you are using insulin or tablets majority of the patients 98 out of 100 after this surgery will not need the tablets or the insulin injections only 2 out of 100 will need and those even those will need a lower dose and in the long run you have to make sure that you don't let your weight go up because the moment your weight goes up the diabetes can again start coming in your blood and that's what I have been seeing in about my more than 13 years of practice by now. Uh, majority of the patients are doing good, but if your weight is coming back, say after 8 to 10 years of surgery, you gained about 20 pounds, again you will see off and on your blood sugar will start increasing. And then again you do some exercise, bring down your weight by 5 kilos, again it will decrease. It will start behaving like the new onset diabetes, like what you had in the beginning when you saw your blood sugar levels high for the first time and in those times it's easy to control you do a little bit of exercise it's easy to control because now you got a new sensor which will work for a good 10 years 20 years uh, uh, but still don't think that we have kind of eradicated the diabetes it is just because you are now eating in a different way and the food is going and touching a new point and uh, you got a new sensor and it's working well and that's how your diabetes is under control and this is how this surgery controls the diabetes if you have any more questions you can uh, write me an email as you see in this video or you can contact us on telephone thank you very much have a good day